here he comes. Holy oh, Wow! Wow! Holy oh, from a very windy and nasty Crystal Beach today uh, where the storm is now is just starting to intensify uh, down here I'm at the boat ramp starting off my day been here for a little while doing a live stream on YouTube oh she's looking a little choppy down there so it's not too high just yet there's a surfer you see him live from Crystal Beach in a major storm we have a surfer. And now I'm just actually going out to do some video footage. Uh, we've got a couple of surfers out here. I'm just going to spin the camera out so you can see everything. Now already the storm's bringing up rocks like that. And I'll just quickly show you over here. Big, big waves coming in here. There we go. Play get drenched with this one. Wow. So here you have it. Winds are now starting to pick up. We're expecting gusts of 100, 120 maybe in about two hours time. The water surge is really starting to push up. There's a couple of places I'm going to go and check out very, very shortly. Uh, one of them being over in Poverty Bay where usually the road washes away. Well, right now, Lake Erie behind me is extremely angry, really angry. This is probably the biggest storm we've had since the blizzard of 2022. Now the problem I have, I got up here and I gotta try and get back down. <laughs> and that wind is super strong, one wrong foot, and I'm doomed. Here we go, big wave, big wave. Getting closer. All right, I gotta watch out for the ice, because as the temperatures drop, these rocks are gonna become very, very slick. I don't really wanna get stuck on them. Waterproofs. <laughs> that one fucking got me completely. Jesus. Shout out to Ellie Hansen. You want to sponsor me? Crystal Beach. Insane winter storm. 13th of January 2024. It reminds us of the storm that blew in during the blizzard. The only difference is we're not getting the flash freeze. Uh, this is going to be a gradual drop in temperature uh, throughout the day, and the really bitter cold weather comes in another 48 hours. Okay, this big wave might get me. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Holy moly! <laughs> okay, that's insane. Okay, those winds have really just picked up again. I try, I try and debate how to get down. 
Right, if anyone was watching me down at the pond while doing this, you would notice I was probably standing like a 35, 40 degree angle because the wind suddenly just became so strong. So I was having to lean into it and just watch my foot in. I was literally being blown off the rock. Look at the size! Fuck me! Jeez! I'm like struggling to stand up, literally. At any time a rogue wave can take me, so I gotta try and get down quick. All right, somehow I gotta get down. All right, I think I just found a gap. That was, that was insane. All right, back to the car. A good one. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, it's still, still going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can film me. Hey, you. I, I already took some pictures for the website, but yeah, I'm just watching the the truck right there. Oh, nice one. Yeah. Seems to be a little lull right now in all of this, but the snow's really starting to come in. I got the. Uh, live stream going on the, in the car so hello twin one on the live stream uh i don't know where he's gone there's a guy in a pickup truck he's over there he was watching on the live stream it's just come down <laughs> there's like a 10 second delay <laughs> i'm like i'm gonna go wave on camera <laughs> <laughs> nice one <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> down at Point Abino right now. I uh, drove down here 40 minutes ago and the road was intact. But as the water's coming up, it's now starting to wash away this new road the uh, town put down here uh, back at the beginning of last year, as you can see. So basically what happens is the waves are getting right underneath the rocks and it's quite soft gravel underneath here and it's just pushing it all up, breaking it all up and it all becomes loose. Now as this storm surge keeps coming, uh, it's just going to wash all this away and it's going to be no different to what it was last year where virtually the whole road was completely washed out and there's a major fix to have it done again. This is a drone shot taken on January the 10th of last year, two weeks after the uh, blizzard. And you can see the destruction, uh, the storm surge are created to the road. And like I said, the, the town then fixed this road during the earliest part of spring. And it looks like it's going to be like this again uh, later on. Okay, we've been literally just three or four minutes of being here. A massive chunk of water uh, of the road has just been literally just washed away. As I was filming for uh, a Twitter feed, uh, X, um, literally I turned around and the road just lifted right up and I missed it. But look at it right now. The waves are just going backwards and forwards. Quite a lot of power in the swell here. Here comes another big one now. And every wave that crashes is just literally taking a chunk of the road out. It's literally, look at that. Just waiting for one of those bigger waves to come, but it's just gonna rip this road right up in a minute. Hey, 
tell you, big chunks of asphalt like this just being tossed into the road right now. Uh, any minute now, the, the waves come in sequence. It's like it'll go calm for like a minute, maybe two, and all of a sudden the waves just start coming back again. They're slowly creeping back right now. Uh, give it another minute and we'll go see some big rollers come back in and probably start washing this road right away. You can see what it's done to the road right here. The water's gone right underneath and basically gets right underneath there and just pulls the whole thing up. All right, it's 12.15 and Mother Nature's getting really angry down here. Uh, the temperature's dropped way below freezing now. Uh, the snow and ice you can hear it's just like driving right at me. I should put my goggles on. But look at this. pushing 100 kilometers an hour easily in the gust sustained at 70 it is wild You gotta keep an eye out where you are at all times. <laughs> I mean, the weight of this is moving cinder blocks like that. Debris over here. Well, the ice plate really hurts my eyes and my face, I should say. It's like everything's just being washed up here. Absolutely insane. Here comes another surge of water heading up towards us now. Here we go, another massive gust of wind coming. The water's just retreated and now it's coming right back in. Holy fuck! Wow! Wow! <laughs> 
<laughs> Holy shit! Did you see that? Holy shit! I was just standing there! <laughs> wow! Absolutely insane. Well, I can't even walk on this. Oh, there goes the wind. Blowing me completely. I am struggling to stand up right, right now. of steel or just mad. Now a lot of ice is now starting to form down at the road ramp right now from the ice cold wind. else to go. I see something over there I'll go and check out. As you can see from behind me, these homes here are actually getting battered by the waves and the wind right now. The small little wall is still holding just about. <laughs> but oh my god, that is a lot of water going into those houses right now. I hope they don't have basements because they'll be screwed if they do. Uh, but we're still not at the peak of this storm just yet. It is blowing crazy right now. It's getting close to 100 kilometers an hour, but not quite there. Right, this is the Niagara River behind me, the Peace Bridge. And the Peace Bridge is open today. Yesterday it was closed. Uh, they had a travel advisory for Buffalo. Nothing was going through. They closed the border for that reason. And today the Buffalo Bills game is going ahead. So they had to open the border because a lot of Canadians wanted to go and watch the Bills today. So uh, there's traffic going over there right now. So that's good news if you're a Buffalo Bills fan. Go and enjoy that game. But anyway, uh, the Niagara River, I was down here uh, just two days ago and it was absolutely rampant it was wild so I'm just going to show you those uh, clips from the live stream which I got uh, so this is the Niagara River uh, from the other day wow just incredible wow is the word I can come up with I should have brought the GoPro down for this walk because I don't want to come back again <laughs> Well, that is your Niagara River running so fast with massive seven, eight foot swells in that. Look at that one. Shit, I'm standing back. It's going to get me. Whoa. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is phenomenal footage. Oh, somehow I've got to try and get back across again. 
all the way up there. I, I can't turn my back on these waves in case one comes right over me. Look at that. Holy moly. Whoa. Hey, folks, hope you're enjoying this footage as much as I am out here. Oh, no, shit. Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was fucking, that was close. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Wow. I gotta remember where I crossed over because I'm literally cut off. Whoa, like that. So I'm not gonna stand there. We know that for a fact. Nigel, don't stand there. So good afternoon, folks, from Fort Erie, the Peace Bridge, a very, very violent. An angry Niagara River is flowing really fast right now uh, down the, towards Niagara Falls. And this is the Niagara River now. As you can tell, a lot calmer, a lot, uh, definitely a lot calmer. Anyway, we haven't got that much snow here. I'm just walking through this field here, this, this, this grass verge area. And uh, it's probably about four inches, the snow. 8 to 10 centimetres, it's, it's not amazingly bad. Snowing pretty good down here now. So this is the snow squall coming in off Lake Erie. Uh, the snow's a lot heavier here uh, than what I've seen in Fort Erie. And it looks like the waves may have picked up again than what they were a couple of hours ago. Uh, I've got a live stream going here on YouTube right now. All right, this is where I was on uh, Saturday afternoon when the roadway started washing up. Right here, the waves are coming over the road, so we'll have a quick look. Uh, show you how low the water levels are now, they've retreated. Uh, you can't see the damage to the road, but you can clearly feel it, so I'm just going to bring you with me. So uh, the gazebo is now uh, <laughs> back to normal. Uh, the roadway really did break up. You can feel it as you're driving along. Uh, it just bumps like crazy. <laughs> just like that. I mean, this was really smooth uh, on Saturday morning, uh, but by, this is pure ice underneath my feet. I can feel it where the water has come up. Um, but I was stood just around about there filming and you can see how much of the roadway is now being washed away. Uh, the stone wall has collapsed again. This was all normal. Oh, those winds. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, those winds just picked up again. It's been really calm for the last hour or so. All the snow has settled on the trees and literally this last minute or two, the wind just picked right up. So I'll give you an idea of how uh, how much the water came up. So you see the level the water's at right now, right there. I'll make sure that's not ice I'm standing on. 
so that's what it was like before the storm surge came up and the water level came up to probably uh, i think this is exactly where it came up to this tree marker right here because <laughs> i was here and i saw it come up to this bit so here so i'm guessing uh, i'm guessing about five feet maybe six above the water line right now is where it came no five i'll go with five All right, that is it. That is it for this particular storm. There's not much, nothing else much to show you. Uh, it's kind of done. It's just a matter of the uh, cold weather now. And then the warm-ups come in in just over a week's time. So until the next storm, uh, stay safe and see you all very, very soon. And please, if you can, make sure you like and subscribe to the uh, channel. Like the video, subscribe and all that. That's what YouTubers say, because it is true. If you like the video while you're, while you're watching it, it helps with the algorithm and more and more people then get to see it. So I really appreciate that. Anyway, take care. See you all soon.